and now you can hear OB Studios. So, as you can see, I do have this nice layout of like text, image, text, image, text, image. And if you have been around a lot of design stuff, you might have seen this kind of layout of text and image for like hero sections or probably just header sections. And you might have thought, okay, how was this built? And would you be able to do that using breakdance? And the answer is yes. You'll be able to build something like this using breakdance. Um, a bit of the animation, like when you enter. So this entrance animation is built using motion page, but the layout of the text and the image is built exclusively with breakdance. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to achieve something like this and also how to make it responsive on like different screen sizes so that's what we're going to do and let's head into the design all right so i already created it here so what we are going to do is delete everything that we do have here and we are going to start afresh so let me save this and open my structure panel so you can see that this is everything that we do have i am going to remove every piece of it all right so um, the only thing that I want to copy is the typography size. Um, if anything, I'm going to also show you how I achieved that. All right. Um, this two over here, I'm just going to leave like that. But what we have here is what we're going to do. We're going to put everything in this step. All right. So, um, the idea behind this, like how I was able to achieve it is by mostly um stacking um the text and the image one after the other i didn't put i made sure that i didn't put like two texts like two different texts together because it will be difficult when it comes to making a responsive so the best way to do it is you put um a header text and this header text i'm going to i have i created a website called clamster um, so clamster is more like a generator um used to generate like um clams so over here, I'm going to choose pixels and then I want my smallest um, font probably to be um, 46, right? Uh, 46 pixels and my largest, I'm going to do 120. And if let's say I was going to apply a class, I can use the class, but I'm not using a class. So I, I can just click here and then copy it and come over here. So this header, I'm going to go into my styling panel and over here, I am going to go into you see font size. Let's change this one to custom and I'm going to paste in what I have. Uh, but remember that it does have um, the font size in the front, which is what we don't need over here. So I'm just going to delete it and uh, clumps works. All right. So we do have this. The next thing that I am going to do is to just um, change this. What we were coming to the front. Okay. Bridging. Um, the gap between breakdance and figma so let's do that let's write that so the first one will be bridging i hope bridging is correct all right so that is bridging um the next thing i want to do is go into advance and for advance i want to make this 100 percent that is okay so that it is 100 percent of the height all right so the next thing that i want to do is make sure that we have selected the dev and inside the dev I am going to add um, an image. So let's say image and let's just add the image that we want. All right, so for image like this, um, the image I was alternating between like sizes to make it more like more nicer. So for the size over here, probably I might have done something like 150. And if you want, you can mostly make sure that your aspect ratio is one by one. If you want to do like squares, you can choose aspect, uh, aspect ratio one one by one or whatever like whatever one that you want and you can make sure that everything is um covered like that all right so if you do aspect ratio you don't really have to put height so yeah but i'm going to do on um, a square and i'm going to choose an image i have these images over here i'm going to choose this for that all right so that's image number one and one thing that i also did in the example over here is that i applied like mask and other stuff like that so go into um effect and you can see there's max over here and you can apply some max to give it like um like to make it more nicer you understand 
All right, so you can add like um, TV, you can add a donut. Yeah, let's add a donut for this one. So we do have a donut over here. And yep, I'm gonna style this a bit more. In my example, I was using stroke. So I'm gonna give it a stroke of, let's say a stroke of one. And for color, let's see what color we're we using. We're using a white color. So let's say we are going to use a white color and we are going to make sure that we do have a fill of transparent and then we're going to add some shadow so our shadow over here we're going to make sure that we don't have any blur so blur is zero and make sure that we can do like five five which is not the best but we, we can do that and we can make sure that also yep so this is how i was able to do what you see over here all right Okay, so after doing this, the next thing to do is just duplicate this as much as you want. So let's duplicate that and put it on the other side. So bridging the, um, the gap and we're going to add another image. So move this image to the right and we can change the image to something else. Let's say that we're going to change the mask later. So bridging the gap and move this one to the side. This one gap. So bridging, uh, bridging the gap between. So let's duplicate an image. So put an image here. Um, take, uh, let's put it over here. Bridging the gap between. Let me move this one to that side. This one should come over here. Um, duplicate the text again. Put this one over here. So bridging the gap between break dance and so we're just going to duplicate this again call this one break dance and just duplicate this again change this one to figma all right i'm just going to duplicate our image and i think one image was here all right let's go back and see okay so that was where it was Okay, so for this one, we're going to make this a bit smaller. So let's make this like um, 50. All right. So let's come coming back into the dev. I can, um, you can see that we already have like the layout set up. But I'm going to remove the layout and show you. So if like you just add a dev without any of the layout set up, you're going to have something like this. So in the layout, what I did was for, I make sure that it was horizontal and we can do like, um, space in between space in between will work perfectly um and then middle so that everything like looks more centered just like that all right and after doing that let's go back over here too so i had this so i'm going to click on that and change the image to something else okay choose that and go into the mask and then for effect over here i had and one thing that is really nice is you can use custom like mask. You can use anything for a mask, but I imported this. So um, instead of making it, we can go, I think that is uh, size. We can do, is it cover? All right, so that is cover. Um, yeah, you can come back here and then we can also change um, the mask over here to, let's say, what did we use there? I think a star. So let's say star number one. All right, that is good. You can go in and you can try like cover, contain, and yeah, whatever that you want to do. Over here too, we can change. Let's change the image to this one. And we can go in here and then change the mask. So for mask, I am going to use, what did we use here? I don't know what the one is, but I think it is probably might be a star. Yeah, I think it is this star that has been stretched. That is fine. And this one, I am going to go also into the mask. And make sure that we do have something like, uh, sorry, where's mask? Uh, you can do a pill. I think that is what I did. And we can do like cover. And that should be good. All right. Why this is doing that? Well, okay that should be fine so we do have everything um in like this i think um another thing that i want to do is make sure that you give this on a breathing space so that 
on different screens it doesn't really stack too close to each other but we might want to make this a bit bigger so let's go here and do like 200 all right so that is good and yep so this is how the layout it is really simple you can do this in like 10 minutes or something like that if i wasn't talking this would have been um, a bit more faster but as you can see it's just text image text image text image text image text image text text so that is how you're able to do um the initial layout all right um you can see uh, when you go back here i added like some a little effect on it you can do uh, you can do those effects by going to image if you want to add something like um, a zoom you can click on the hover here and then you can give it like a zoom yeah, but consider the zoom is really choppy so for you to fix it, you can go into um, effect and then add um, a duration probably a 400 um, so it's really like smooth like that you can also do one to this um this 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 uh yep you can also add a zoom also over here sorry click on and then over here to you can give it like 300 um whatever one that you want to give so yep that is how it is and when it gets into responsive one thing that you might want to do is to just change the sizes of the image because the size for the text will mostly be handled by using the clamp function so let's see how responsive this one can be all right we're going to click on um tablet you can see that the images are pretty huge so one thing that we can do is to make sure that we give this one a good image uh, image size so i'm gonna do like probably like 100 and then for this i'm gonna also do probably 120 and yeah you can just go on changing the sizes like that i think the best thing that i should have done is um made the make the responsive on the onset but this is all good and yeah i think the size are not crazy comparing to the size of the text all right you can go into the next one which is this and for this we can still go down a little more probably give this one um 75 give this one 100 give this one a 75 give this one also a 75 I think th this is okay but as you can see this comes down and that is fine it is not the best thing to leave this one at the very bottom so but it's good for what we have now and we can go into mobile and for mobile we might want to even bring this all the way down to like a 50 bring this one also down to like a 50 or maybe even bring this a bit more down so I'll go down yep and also bring this down go here and also bring this one all the way down to like uh, 45 go here and make this one also 45 make this one probably um 35 and one thing that um i'm going to do is the div the div that holds all the images is still selected and i am going to change instead of making this one space in between i'm going to make it like a left which is better than doing space between and then you do see like huge gaps in and around as you can see um the stroke is not the most readable so make sure that what you're designing is really readable this is for demonstration purposes to show you how this is done but yeah that is what it is for now and we do have this uh, as i said you can even go down a bit more if you want to like make um depend on how like you want it to stack up like that okay so i think we are done and how did that take not too long so we do have this i'm just going to refresh so we can see or probably let's open it in a new in a new tab um so front end all right so there's the um there's the new one we just did and this is the old one so the old one doesn't have that much space, but the new one has like a bit more space in between, like breathing space for it. So if you're looking to build this kind of design, this is one way of doing it. And it is the most um, the most responsive way that I was able to achieve when it came to like making it more responsive. And yeah, you can also try adding all this nice hover effects and also this shapes because this shapes makes it look more fun. 
all right um thank you for watching if you haven't subscribed to the channel please um yeah subscribe to the channel and i will see you on the next tutorial the name is Nyako. this is obi studios